Hey everybody, it's Deb. Happy Saturday, March 30th. One more day of uh, March. Oh, wow. Anyway, welcome to the Pinterest collaboration. This is hosted by Kim. Uh, and I'm not going to say her name. It'll be down below as well as all the other participants. And if you remember, you might not remember, but last month I had pulled out this picture of flowers with a green background with a butterfly and I had done two cards which were these I don't have the cards to show anymore because I've sent them out um, this one was watercolor it was the second card and then stamped on and the little butterflies were punched out uh, after, and that colored and punched out with um, alcohol markers I believe um, anyway these were last month's takes on it and remember I said that wasn't what I wanted to do initially well I did the thing that I wanted to do initially so I am using the same inspiration mostly purples and greens with butterflies so let me show you what I did this month this is what I had intended to do last month and I'm going to get these out of the way so my camera hopefully picks up I made two boho beads <laughs> I only got two done. I'm, I don't know. I'm in a, um, I've had a lot going on this week and, and I didn't get to it till this week. So I had watched, um, Stormy's Imagination Station a while ago make these. I don't know if hers were as long, but I probably need, um, well, anyway, what she did, this is wire and what you do is, or what she did is she put it through a piece of straw, plastic straw. And then to hold them in place, the straw in place, she used, she said, use whatever, I, and I didn't remember that to the last minute, but thankfully I did. Use whatever cheap bead you have, the cheapest kind you have, because they're not going to show. They're just in there for stability. So I found I had a few of these red seed bead things, and I put them on the wire through the, the straw. Now the straw goes, that I used, was about... Mm, I don't know how many it's just it, it's probably a little longer than I would use the next time because they're pretty big beads it's like two and three quarter inches roughly and then it gets longer because I put um, beads on either end so I wire wrap you know a big purple bead which looks like where are they here hang on oh, I hope I didn't put that oh here like these, which I had gotten from Bargain Bead Box subscription a while ago. And then I also had these green, uh, like, glass beads. And I wire wrapped them on some 18 gauge gold wire. The thicker the gauge, the number, the, the lower the number, the thicker the wire is what I'm trying to say. And then, after, and then I wire wrapped both ends closed. And then what I did is I found some I was looking for purple and I don't have much purple or green ribbon really but I did have this dark purple um it's like satin ribbon satin ribbon polyester ribbon it feels like satin though seven eighths inch from Michael's so I wrapped the straw in that so the straw wouldn't show and I just hot glued it on and then I used um this eyelash trim which doesn't show very much on this one but it peeks it peeks out and through a little bit and then I wrapped it with this eyelash trim or whatever this stuff is called fun for I think this is like the Dollar Tree brand um, and then I took 24 gauge wire which is a little thinner wire wrapped it around up here and I wrapped um, various beads on these little green um, bicones, Chinese bicones, um, some of these sort of iridescent -y purple beads. I don't know if you're seeing them real good because of the glare, like that. Anyway, they're sort of multicolor. You can see one better here, maybe. And then I have some little gold beads from Bead Box Bargain. All these, I think, are Bead Box Bargain. And then I had these little um, glass multi with butterfly small pack of 100 
little butterfly bees. These were from Fire Mountain, made in India. And all different colors is purple, green, blue, white. So anyway, I used mostly green and purple. So here's one here. I don't know if you can see it. And then there's a purple one here. And then there's another green one down here. So I just kept going up and down and up and down and up and down. I think three times. And the last time I wrapped the butterflies on. So I think there's only three on this one. Yeah, three butterfly beads on this one. And I didn't put any dangle off the bottom. So that's that one. I think they're kind of cool. They'd be cool on a, like, hanging from a journal and then maybe put another little dangle at the bottom. So I didn't put a dangle on that one. And I see I have a little piece of loose wire here I had to fix. I had to tuck that in better. Anyway, this one, um, I, again, wrapped the straw in this. I used different beads. I used one of the sort of iridescent -y purple ones. But then I used one of these lighter... I think they're called jade, but they're like a lilac colored. They're probably serpentine or they might even be glass. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think they're glass because they're warm to the touch. Anyway, I, um, with little bead caps, I did use some little, little gold bead caps on both of them on top, the big beads only. And then instead of exactly doing the other thing i had this funky looking stuff i apparently got at walmart for 75 cents at some point but i thought it would be like you know butterfly flight <laughs> if some of it would stick out the bottom so i put that on and i tried really hard to kind of cover the sticky outy stuff as i was going around the second time um, and then i just put the purple eyelash trim on this time not the um not the blue and green and then this time i have a few more butterflies i have one two three four i think i have five or six anyway one two three four five five i think i have five on there but then i also um put three little ones down here as a dangle and i sort of have a teal the purple in the middle they're sort of iridescent -y looking and then the lighter green and the beads barely show out the bottom of of this one so that is the second one i did so i thought they're kind of cute and i don't know i'm kind of liking purple and green together i like lilac bushes and purple flowers so um yeah i think they're kind of cool well what do you think those are my very first boho beads i mean i do beading but i have never done boho beads before so i think they kind of came out kind of cool i do them again in different colors and if anybody be you think they'd sell in a Etsy shop because i wouldn't mind selling some stuff <laughs> i have an Etsy shop but i haven't updated it in ages so anyway let me know so that's my pins for this my pin project for this week this month um let's see when we when we do the next month it'll be april 27th we should all be posting around noon eastern time and again my inspiration was this picture that i used last month and this month so next month i'll do something different have no clue what i have to go out on pinterest and figure out what i have out there and see what i'd like to do so yeah i did some boho bees first ever I've ever done them okay hope you liked them thanks for watching hop on over to all the other participants in the club and i hope you have a lovely saturday and a great weekend and week ahead hugs love and peace